Hi there, I'm Java Jam with First Line Equipment and welcome to our YouTube channel here. And in front of us, we're going to present to you today the new Itzo Valexia Duetto that has just arrived at First Line Equipment. As you can see, we have nice wood accents on the porter filter, the steam knobs, uh, comes with some great accessories as well as a wooden handle tamper, uh, two porter filters, single and double, uh, as well as single and double baskets. It comes with multiple steam tips for the steam wand for your making a beautiful microfault or just steaming milk in general. Uh, hot water wand, steam wand, E61 group head, and in this particular machine we have a stainless steel mushroom on top. Uh, some people will say, well, it prevents lime scale uh, buildup. Um, just to let you know, I have seen some lime scale on stainless steel, including stainless steel boilers. So don't be fooled by what my competitors tell you or what some manufacturers may say. I have seen lime scale in stainless steel boilers and mushrooms. So please treat your water, soften it, not filter it, not distilled, not RO, not purified, but softened water. And we have those solutions at first line just to make you aware. It all depends upon your setup and we can go over that with you once you purchase your machine. Uh, one of the signature things that are known about Itzo, who has been hounding us for over a year to carry their machines, is their deep drip tray. It is mighty deep. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it is a shallow uh, pour, but in some cases shallow pour is better because the crema doesn't break up. So some machines have a shallower drip tray, more uh, often for uh, emptying out or draining. In this case, on this machine, you can drain it. There's a catch basin right here that you can connect with an included drain hose. It's about a little over a meter or roughly there. So uh, here you can have a valve inside here to go from switchable uh, or tank to plumbable. We call it switchable or uh, plumbable to tank as well. Power button is here uh, on the bottom here. So it's nice and hidden and we, up here we have a PID display for this dual boiler, uh, which you can change the uh, coffee temperature and the steam temperature, and we'll go over that shortly. And we have a nice drip tray. If your machine has a white film, it comes off, a little secret, okay? It will not always have it, but ba different batches have it in different spots, depending on if the machine was made before lunch or after lunch. So after lunch, they may not take it off because they had a little vino over there and they get a little lazy in the afternoon. But the quality is still good. We can assure you that. Another nice thing is they have a cover for the reservoir to prevent dust buildup. Access is pretty easy on the top here for four screws and the refillable reservoir here. Just going back to uh, water treatment. We will sell as an option a water treatment to connect to this hose right here, which is an in-tank water softener, or we do have for the plumbing uh, capabilities to have the water treatment for the machine. Just contact us uh, based on uh, when you see this video, because sometimes we change to something better. So we're not mentioning that uh, for this video. And inside the Duetto, we actually have nice stainless steel boilers, which uh, I am a little shocked to see that we have included here. Now here we have the PID uh, display controller right here. Uh, here is our uh, steam boiler with a bleeder valve here. Uh, we have the PID temperature sensor here. Uh, water refill right here that measures the amount of water to refill up to. And we have our, it looks like our stainless steel uh, valve here that connects the copper tubing and brass fittings to refill the boiler. Uh, that's what seems to be looking right there. Here we have the uh, OPV setting. And as you could see, the water passes through the steam boiler first through the uh, OPV uh, and there's a drain hose that goes down from there and then uh, goes through the coffee boiler in here. We have a safety thermostat there. I don't see one on top on the steam boiler, so it must be near the bottom. 
Back here we have our motor and pump and capacitor and we have our brain unit near the top over here. And you probably can't see from the videos but there's two relays uh, over here. So that's pretty much the inside of the machine, very quality built. Uh, we have uh, the thermal siphon loop with the uh, coffee boiler. And I believe on the bottom of this machine is also uh, the drain uh, for uh, the steam boiler, if I remember correctly, as they said. So that's basically the inside of the machine. And uh, we'll move to the next segment. Basically, we'll make our first espresso. So just to show you the steam boiler light is heating the steam boiler. It's not fully heated yet. Uh, the coffee boiler does seem to get priority over uh, the steam boiler. So you can see it going back and forth is trying to maintain the coffee boiler with energy going to the steam. So here you'll see we're at around 201 on the coffee boiler with 160 at the steam boiler. So now we preheated our cups with hot water. And we're going to use a compact grinder, PKE. And it didn't dose enough, so we're going to grind a little more. I'm going to use the wooden handle tamper by Itso. And as you can see here, I put my two fingers to make sure that the tamp goes down as far as the tamp um, depth here. Uh, some people don't like knocking. I like to knock. I just polish it a little bit and I just put enough pressure. Really key is to make sure that the espresso is equidistant. So you can see a little bit of the ridge here but not there. So I have a tendency to tamp less on this side and I will adjust accordingly. But this is why I use the, the two finger method and clean that off. I'm gonna start steaming our milk. And I'm starting to get some good velocity. Shut our espresso right there. Still getting used to this machine. I can't get rid of the, uh, the large bubbles. It's actually not that bad. Uh, Definitely could have done a better job with steaming and fr building a micro froth on the milk there. But just something that even me, who's worked on many different machines, sometimes you need to make little adjustments and practice and learn on the machine. Uh, even with baristas that sometimes I train, they get a new machine and they get a little flustered. So keep that in mind that when you're making espresso and cappuccino lattes, that it is a learning process. Um, and you really want to look at this machine uh, as a good contender in your choices with the, the knowledge that you will need to learn and practice uh, on whatever machine that you get, including myself. So take a serious look at the uh, Itso Valexia with a V uh, Duetto Espresso Machine. We would have never brought this in if it wasn't for the quality that we expect from all our suppliers. And uh, we think that this is a good choice for you. If you have any questions, please ask down below in the comments section. You can also go to our website and ask in the Q&A tab for this particular machine. Give us a thumbs up if you can. And if you like this video, we really appreciate it. And I truly appreciate it. Once again, the Itso Valexia Duetto. Thank you for watching.